Hello everyone. Um, last week, I think, in one of our videos, our live streams with my live streams with Lisa, I was waiting for two o'clock to come on and um, I was working on a sock, a darning a sock that the reason I came in here and sat down to do it is because the needle and the threads and the scissors were all sitting right here. And I had 20 minutes or so ahead of the video and I didn't quite finish. So I was finishing it up as we started our live stream. And everyone said, okay, you need to make a darning, how to darn a sock video. Well, it, I realize that's not um, a lot about what this channel is about, but I decided, yeah, well, at the same time, my channel is a lot about reusing things and recycling things and keeping things out of the landfill and things like that. Now, I wouldn't normally darn a sock like this. This uh, is an old cotton sock. You know, they come 12 pairs in a package kind of thing. Um, because there's 12 pairs in a package, if one gets a hole, uh, there's another one to make a pair. What I usually do with these is turn them in. I just, they turn into rags. So I actually got this out of the rag pile. Um, one of the reasons it was in the rag pile is because this, this, they're probably four years old and this was gone, you know, so uh, they make great dusting rags. Just so you know, this stuff inside is wonderful to dust with. So this is not a sock I would normally darn. It's not worth my time to go ahead and darn it because I, I will use it as uh, something else until its life expectancy wears out. But I wear smart wool socks and... Um, <laughs> they're pricey and if they got a little hole like that then I darn it um, they last a long long time unless something strange happens and I don't know what happened to that sock I was darning the other day anyways so I have a little hole in this sock and I am going to show you how to darn it besides going oh darn and putting it in the trash can um, what I'm going to use is a needle now this is probably like a needle point needle it is not sharp um, I find that they're they work better uh, probably growing up I actually had a darning needle mom mom would have had things like that um, I remember that the thread we used to darn dad socks mom got in like um, a light brown a dark brown and a black and they were on little um, balls kind of things and it it was specifically for darning socks it was darning thread well what it was was cotton thread that had about six plies so what I am going to use is DMC floss now you could darn your socks in pretty colors or you could darn your socks to match um, this is just embroidery floss uh, I happen to have leftovers from my dad's um, needlepoint projects and so I'm going to use that I'm not going to open a brand new skein but I wanted to show you what I was using um, I'm going to use all six of the threads now uh, floss embroidery floss is got multiple threads in it it is not twisted. That's one of the reasons why it works. Darning thread was not twisted. It it uh, it it was more flat. Uh, yarn things like that are twisted. I don't I don't want to tell you that that wouldn't yarn wouldn't work, but this is softer because it's not twisted together. Uh, I'm going to use all six threads. I've put them through the needle. You want. A reasonably long piece but you do not want a piece that is so long that you're fighting with it it's not worth that it's better to have a second piece also it's best if you catch your holes before they get too big I cut a pretty good size hole I had to cut a hole in this sock just so that you could see it um, I cut a pretty good size hole in there so that you could see what's going on when I darn this the other thing I did was I hunted up a light bulb. 
Now, the other day on the live stream, I was using a kitchen glass just because I was too lazy to go hunt a light bulb. The light bulb is a better shape and more rounded and so it works a little easier. I am sure that when I was growing up, um, mom had a, probably a darning egg. But you know, for the life of me, I can't remember that. I remember light bulbs. So it might have been that I had a light bulb that I worked with. So I'm going to bring us in real close and promise to try to stay in frame so that you can really see what's going on. I hope that's going to work. Now, we're, uh, the sock is right side out. Don't turn your sock wrong side out. You want to darn it on the right side so that as many of the threads are on the outside of the sock as possible. Now what you do is you put your little hole over the light bulb and no knots. We are not going to tie a knot. I am going to just make tiny little stitches and you notice I am back from the hole a little bit. I don't, I don't want to be right at the hole. I want to start out just a little bit. And what I'm going to do now, this, I'm sure there's lots of ways to darn a sock too. Just, this is, this is the way I was taught. Okay. And I usually turn it to work with it. It's just, that's just the way I do it. Tiny stitches. And what I'm creating is I'm creating a little square. Now you notice that I left an end or a tail. I don't have a hole, oh, a knot. I'm just leaving that little tail out there. And don't pull your threads real tight. If I pulled this thread real tight, first off, it would pull that out. But also, it's going to change the, the weave of the sock. You, we want it to be... I, I pulled it. Now I'm going to have to undo it. I'm going to stretch it back out. There we go. Oops. Sorry. Um, what I'm going to do is create like a little square all the way around my hole. And I tend to turn it in my hand. If you can darn across there without, then that's fine. I just, that's how I've always done it, is to rotate the, the light bulb. Okay, now that hole is pulling right here. Can you see how that's pulling right there? Probably because I played with it. So I'm going to go outside the first line and, and do another little row of stitching. Just try not to put your stitches exactly where the last ones were. If they are, it's not a big deal. But this row of stitching is just outside that line. That will also help to tie in the row that does not have a knot on it at the very beginning. Okay, I pulled that a little snug, pull it back out, okay. All right, now I'm going to make another, I've got enough to do a line of stitching here, here, 
and here. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a line of stitching. This just helps to reinforce outside the hole to keep the hole from getting any bigger. Okay, so now I've got my two rows of stitching all the way around my project. Okay, so now comes the actual darning part. This is all sort of beginning reinforcing and it's to keep this little thread from causing issues. So um, we can put it over here. We can worry about it. I usually just clip it off. And when I finish up, I'll just clip that off. What we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to go down here. And pick up a thread. And that makes a long thread. Do you see it? And then we go up here and we pick up. A little stitch come here and we have another long thread now don't pull these too tight we want we want them to be reasonably loose we want them to lay flat we don't want them to be real tight now here where my thread has gotten kind of close to the edge I may have to come outside my reinforcement stitch to get my next stitch which is fine that's why we put those reinforcing stitches in there each time we want these little threads that we're making long to lay flat I'm sorry I keep moving towards I'll move my chair maybe that will help okay so then we're going to go across and pick this up basically we're make just we're kind of making the base of what we're going to weave into that is that is what we're doing we're just kind of going back and forth across there making these little threads to weave into uh oh don't split your thread you want to be under it Okay. Now 
this is also kind of funny to hold away from um, myself and, and not have my head right over it, just so you know, guys. Okay. We're, I'm going to go ahead and put one more thread across there simply because um, it's easier for me to work that way. Um, this time, this thread is going to come up right beside it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to weave our way across these little threads. So I have my little stitch in. I'm going to go under, over, under, over, under. Okay. Now, when I get up to this top part, I'm going to take a little stitch. This looks really messy. <laughs> Okay, and now we're going to go the opposite. We're going to go under the one we went over, over the one we went under. Each time until we get to the last one. And don't pull it real tight. Use your needle, push it across there. Use your finger. And on each side, we're going to take a little stitch. The little stitch helps to hold everything in. And you just go under and over each thread until... And your needle should push the last thread in just a little bit. Don't pull it too tight. That was almost what I just did. Pulled it too tight. You don't want your um, weaving to be pulled. It will pull on your toe. Especially if the hole's in the toe. Okay. Somehow I got backwards. What did I do wrong here? Okay, there we go. I started out wrong. And if you realize you're going over a thread you went on over last time, you're, you're doing it wrong on that particular needle. And you see how we're actually creating a little piece of fabric over the hole. Don't pull too tight. Okay, what did we do? Oh, that's right. Got a little thread up there. Just continue weaving until we've filled up the whole thread. And like I said, each time I take my needle and sort of push those over just a little bit. And I've also pulled this down just a little bit with my thumbnail. I just realized that. And that's, you know, this... And 
And if you find you need to take your stitch outside the stabilization stitches, that's fine. Try not to take some really long stitches. That's And I am going to try to put as many threads in there as possible. Uh, I mean, I could probably stop, but the more threads I get in there, the the stronger the little piece of fabric that I'm weaving is going to be. And I used to do this, and it was, and they were, you know pretty but I haven't darned a sock in a long time so I do apologize if it's not pretty I think we're about at the end. Okay. Okay. So we have woven. Okay, I don't know if that's in focus or not. Let me take a look. Okay. Um, we've woven a new little piece of fabric right there. Okay. We have some little stabilization stitches out there. We have a thread now that's just been woven in here. This thread was woven all the way around. We can take our scissors and snip this off. And it'll be a long time before it comes out. But this one we have to do something with. Um, I like to take it and, and just kind of weave it back through wherever I see that I think it's going to need a little more I don't know a, a little more it's kind of something to hold on to like so it's not as pretty on that edge but now the other thing is is if it it's not real pretty but I've used red thread on a gray and white sock so that thread is now woven back through there. I can run it through here too. And then I just cut it off. And we have just darned a sock Let's get our little light bulb out of there. And we don't have a hole anymore. It's soft because the, I mean, it's, it's not as soft as the sock was, but it's pretty soft. It's, it's not got any knots. Let's look at the inside. Most of the thread that we put in is on the outside, so there's not a lot of thread stitches or anything like that that's going to catch on our toe. And we have a nice fix. And we have recycled a sock. A sock that would normally have gotten thrown away because it's not good anymore. So, guys, that might not have been art as we have been making art, but it is an art. It's an old art. It saves a sock. It's, it's recycling. 
So that's how I darn a sock. And that's how I darn a sock. I'm sure there are lots of other ways to do it. But that is the way I was taught. And that's the way I do it. So guys, go have fun. Make some art. Save something from the garbage. Have a wonderful day.